welcome. I'm Erica Flint, author and creator of Reprogram Your Way. Reprogram Your Way is a unique system that uses hypnosis to shift how you think and how you feel so you can stop thinking about food all the time, regain control of eating, and lose the weight once and for all. This is part one of the video training series, so let's get started. Wouldn't it be nice just to not think about food so much? Or actually not have food cravings for those unhealthy foods? How about wanting, actually having the desire and motivation to be more active or do healthy things that you know are good for you? That's what we program your weight can do. It uses the power that's already inside of you. The power of your mind, the power of your body, the power of your emotions to help you lose weight where you may not have been successful in the past. And it doesn't include a complicated food program or hours at the gym every day. You will not be starving or depriving yourself. This program uses your body's own wisdom to guide you to your healthy weight. Now, it's likely that you have some programs running in your brain that just aren't helping you. Like, for example, are you a member of the Clean Plate Club, right? You're eating everything on your plate without, you know, even if you're not hungry anymore, you just finish everything on your plate or mindless eating. Oops, you just finished everything in the chip bag. How did that happen, right? Probably while you're watching television or doing something else, right? Um, do you turn to sweets? when you're stressed or lonely or upset and then feel guilty later for doing that? Do you find that eating something pleasurable is one of you know your most favorite parts of your day and because of that you believe that you're you're gaining weight? <clears throat> Those are the types of things that reprogram your weight is really good at. So let's go over some of the basics. All right, so first of all, is reprogram your weight right for you? First of all, are you tired of thinking about food all the time? Now, most of my clients, um, this is a real problem for them. They are planning, they're weighing, they're plotting, you know, as they're eating their breakfast, they're thinking about their snack or their lunch or they're planning their dinner, that type of a thing. And it be can become all consuming, kind of like a part-time job for them. Would you consider yourself an emotional eater is the second one. Um, and emotional eating is eating for reasons other than hunger. All right, so eating if you're stressed or you're sad or that type of a thing. And the third one, are you aware of some bad habits that are causing you to gain weight that you want to be rid of? All right, so this is eating in front of the television, fish, finishing all the food on your plate like we talked about, that type of a thing. So if you answered yes to any one of those, or maybe all of them are going on with you, then yes, reprogram your weight is right for you. It is a compassionate, heart-centered approach to weight loss. It takes you, the individual, into consideration. And I can tell you guys this, whatever is going to work for you for the long term, and I'll tell you, I'm sure you've tried other programs before and you've probably lost a lot of weight before, but whatever is going to work for you for the long term is going to be something unique just for you. So the thing that's going to work for you for the long time is going to be something that you like to do and something that's easy enough for you to do nearly every day. So if what we're doing is enjoyable and it's easy enough to do every day, then it becomes sustainable. When it becomes sustainable, then it become, can become habitual. And after that, after becoming habitual, finally it becomes permanent. And that's one of the um, differences in reprogram your weight. It is sustainable and it's permanent because we use the power that's already inside of you. <clears throat> so when you understand what your body and mind are doing that is keeping the weight on you, you will then equally understand how to take it off. And that's exactly what Reprogram Your Weight does. It brings you inside, it brings you clarity on how to make changes so that it changes how you think and how you feel so that in that moment, you actually want to do the things that you know are good to you, good for you. Because we almost always do what we feel, don't we? It's like, oh, I don't feel like doing this. I don't feel like doing that. Well, if you actually felt like eating healthier, do you think that would help you? If you actually felt like being more active, do you think that would help you? I think so. Now, before I was a hypnotist, I was a software engineer. I worked in the high tech industry for um, about 14 years before I realized how powerful hypnosis was. And now I help people reprogram how they think, how they feel, and I teach them tools to help them change habits in order to lose weight, even when everything else they've already tried has failed. So when I describe what I do to my clients, I say something like this. You know how you wake up in the morning and you have all this energy in the morning and you're motivating, say, you know what, today is gonna be the day. Today is going to be the day that on the way home from, I'm going to eat healthy all day, and on the way home from work, I'm going to stop at the gym, and then I'm going to come home and cook that healthy dinner, right? How many times have you said that? But then at the end of the day, something happens. You know, something stressful at work, 
or something else comes up in your family or somebody needs you and uh, you, you just don't feel like it anymore and you find yourself skipping the gym, going straight to the drive-thru or you find yourself at home with that pint of ice cream in your hand or that bag of chips and you wonder, is this ever going to change? And you might feel frustrated and upset even by that. Well, here's what I do. I help clients shift how they think and feel and do some reprogramming there so that on the way home, that the next time, they actually want to go to the gym. It's easy for them. They want to eat that healthy food. They look forward to it and they're happy about it later. And so there is a difference here. <clears throat> there does, there's a desire here to do the things that you know here are good for you. And so there's a real shift that takes place. And some of my clients describe it as magic, but I assure you it is not magic. It is repeatable. I have helped hundreds of clients lose weight using these techniques, using reprogram your weight. I just know how the mind and body work to create an experience for you. And that experience for you is based on your perceptions, your past experience, and your beliefs. And I know how to help you reprogram all of those things so you get the results that you want. And this is easily applied to weight loss so you can lose weight. But that's usually just the beginning. Because what you'll find is that once you're losing weight, you start to feel better, you feel lighter, you feel happier. And you become interested in things that you used to be interested in. You're interested in new things. And so it leads to you feeling happier and leading a more successful and content life. <clears throat> but I do know that for most of my clients, losing the weight isn't always the issue. Most of the people that I've worked with have lost a lot of weight in the past. It's actually the gaining back that's the real problem. And so part of that is the way that people lose weight because a lot of uh, programs are not sustainable. They're very hard. There's a lot of deprivation, a lot of hard work. And so today I'm gonna tell you the top three reasons why traditional diet programs and the things in our society, relationships with food that are, it's all around us, right? Food is all around us and there's expectations, social expectations, those types of things. So I'm gonna give you the top three reasons why those types of things can actually cause us to gain weight. And I'm gonna help you shift your thinking right now so that you could get headed in the right direction. <clears throat> So I want you to know that Reprogram Your Weight, it does not include a food plan or spending hours at the gym. It is completely different than that. Actually, it's completely different than most weight loss programs that I'm familiar with. And so, you know, it really is focusing on this internal stuff that's going on with you. Like, how are you thinking about things? How, is it, how does food end up in your mouth without you realizing it? What is, where's the disconnect happening? Where are the dots not being connected there? And when we figure some of those things out, it makes the process of losing weight so much easier because now you're using your mind and heart to do something for you instead of trying to just think it through and muscle through all the time. <clears throat> all right, so before we get into reprogram your weight, I want to tell you about hypnosis because there are a lot of misperceptions about hypnosis and, and what it really is. And because reprogram your weight uses hypnosis combined with a multitude of other techniques, to get results very quickly and getting those fast results is really important because then you're motivated and then you'll stick with it, right? I want you to know what it really is and how do we get those results so quickly. So hypnosis is a normal and natural state of mind that we go into all the time. You've likely already been in hypnosis hundreds or thousands of times in your life already. It's a state of mind where you are highly focused and you're receptive to positive ideas. In this state of mind, you become aware of things that you weren't aware of before and it's leading you to insight and mental clarity. So it's as if you're able to get a clearer picture of what's been going on in your life, like finding a few lost puzzle pieces that once discovered now make more sense about important aspects of your life. And these insights shift how we think about things, shift how we feel about things, so that you can achieve your weight loss goal faster than ever before. And once something like that takes place, it happens like in a moment, and then you feel lighter and you feel better, and it, you're easily able to follow through on things that before were harder for you to follow through on, all right? So how does that actually work? I want you to think of your mind as having uh, different aspects. And the first is the conscious mind. The conscious mind is analytical and procedural. It's the part of your mind that does math, for example. But it's also very limited. Studies show it can hold only seven to nine bits of information at any one time. So one way to think about your conscious mind is the tip of the iceberg, right? The little part of the iceberg that sticks above the water. But just like in an iceberg, there's a lot more going on underneath the water. 
And that bigger part is the second part of the mind that I want to tell you about. And that part is called the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is vast and unlimited and it's very powerful. It stores everything that has ever happened to you. And at times, without us even realizing it, we are acting based on beliefs and habits that are stored there, right? So this is how you find yourself. You've just eaten a whole bag of chips and you don't remember eating all the bag of chips. It's a habit, okay? <clears throat> So that bigger part of the iceberg that's under the water, that is what we call the subconscious mind. And hypnosis gives us direct access to that bigger, deeper part of us. When we do that, we get more information. And so we get better data, more data, so to speak. And that is what illuminates kind of the issue of what's really going on so that the connections can be made. And it gives us this clarity like, oh my gosh, I, I didn't realize that. And then all of a sudden you're able to do things that before were challenging for you. And I also want you to know that anybody who wants to go into hypnosis can. It's safe. You are conscious and alert the whole time and that you're in hypnosis. Uh, you will remember everything that happens while you're in hypnosis. And really, your hypnotist serves as a coach or guide to help you get control back of the areas that you want in your life. So the purpose of the book, the reason I wrote the Reprogram Your Weight book and the purpose of this training is that I want you to know that things can be different, even when you've tried everything else. Okay, most people don't come see the hypnotist right out of the gate. They come to see me after they've tried all sorts of other things and haven't been successful. Hypnosis is different, and you can expect different results. So here are the two things that I want you to get out of this training. The first, I want you to feel hopeful that there's another way. And even if you've already tried everything that you can think of, even if you're desperate, there is another way. Hypnosis is different. You can expect different results. And the second is I want you to learn something that helps you right away. Maybe you've already picked up on something that is helping you. Um, and throughout the training, I hope that you pick up on other bits of information that are helping shift how you think about things, about food, about what's going on in your life, about yourself. That's going to help you be successful. All right, so now we're going to talk about the power of the mind and how we can change how we think to reduce cravings and lose weight. So... There are three common issues that keep clients trapped in weight gain. And these are the three things that I told you about before um, that traditional diet programs kind of can cause us to stay stuck in weight gain and also the way that our society is designed with food everywhere. All right, so the first one is we're actually trained to eat wrong. We're taught as children <clears throat> pretty much to eat when we're not even hungry. So, you know, finish all the food on your plate. Um, and I've talked about this before, members of the Clean Plate Club, right? There's starving children somewhere in the world, you know, oh, finish all the food on your plate. There's starving children in Africa or China or, or something like that. I, you know, most of my clients have heard that, uh, heard that when they were growing up. And so, um, and, and you know what? It makes sense when we're kids, our parents, and for you parents out there, you'll understand um, that, yes, it's important to ha help our kids eat. Um, and you know get a good breakfast and that type of thing but it doesn't always make sense as adults okay because as adults and what happens is we start eating at certain times of the day and we start eating food when we're not even hungry and now we're getting out of touch with our natural appetite and our natural appetite is designed to help us regulate our weight without us really needing to put a lot of effort into it okay uh, the second thing <clears throat> is thinking about food increases your appetite. All right, so this is a very important principle of the mind that I want you to be aware of. Whatever we think about grows. So for example, if I say to you that um, you notice the sensation of the tongue in your mouth, you will become aware of it and the sensation will grow. If I say the feeling of your feet in your shoes or socks or on the floor, you will become aware of that feeling and it will grow. And so whatever we focus on grows. So if you are on a complicated weight loss or diet program and you find yourself counting, weighing, calculating, and measuring food all day long, guess what? Your appetite will increase because you're thinking about food all day long, all right? Um, the third thing is conflicting diet advice and information overload. It creates an atmosphere of uncertainty and frustration, all right? So how many diets have you been on? how many of them have contradicted each other so you know it's frustrating when a study comes out one day that says this and then the next day there's a study that says the exact opposite and so this creates a feeling of uncertainty and this feeling of uncertainty is like am i whatever i'm doing is this even going to work all right so now what's happening is you've been trained to eat wrong 
you're thinking about food all the time to try and manage it, which increases your appetite. And now you have this feeling of uncertainty, like, is it really, is it even going to work? All right. So those are the three things that really can cause a lot of people problems when trying to lose weight. Now, the answer to all three of these things is the same thing. Taking the job of knowing when to eat away from your brain and give it back to the part of your body that it was intended to be in charge of that hunger. And it's called your appetite. And all right, so I've been doing this a long time. I know what you might be thinking because I've heard it a hundred times before. Erica, I don't have an appetite. All right, so, um, you know, I know for a lot of you, you might think that you don't have an appetite, but whether you think you have an appetite or not, you very likely do. So there are some medications um, that will decrease your appetite or kind of mess with your appetite. And we've probably all had the experience where you have a cold or something like that and you're not hungry. So yes, there are times when you don't have an appetite, but I'll tell you something. Every single one of my clients found their missing appetite. And with it, they started losing weight. So find your appetite and lose the weight. It's your body's natural way to self-regulate. <clears throat> so let me ask you something. How do you know when it's time to go to the bathroom? Yeah, you feel it in your body. So that's kind of like an output. Well, we want to give the body, your body's own wisdom, control back of the input as well, what you're eating and what you're drinking, using your appetite. So this takes some time to get used to, especially if you've been eating the in an opposite way, like based on the clock type of a thing for a long time. But it's very easy to do with hypnosis. And once people get back in touch with their appetite, losing weight seems and feels so much easier. Now, I call this mindful eating. When you, get, when you get good at it, it'll help you lose all the weight you want to lose because your body will naturally bring you back to a healthy weight just for you. All right, so I want to tell you guys the story now. <clears throat> Michelle came to me to lose weight. She was tired of thinking about food all the time. She had been on a lot of diets in her life and she had lost a bunch of weight, but she always gained it back. She'd been thinking about food and trying to control it. She'd been weighing it. She'd been measuring it, following the latest fad diet or not so fad diet, right? Something that she'd kind of tried all, all on her own, uh, but she was frustrated and she was about to give up. So in the first session of hypnosis, I shared with Michelle what I've been sharing, what I've shared already with you thus far, how thinking about food so much increases our appetite, how we're programmed to think about food to eat incorrectly and some of the other things that are going on that cause us to gain weight. And then after that, we did some powerful hypnosis work together to lock in that change and get her some insights about what was really going on with her so that the changes were permanent. And after the first week of hypnosis, Michelle came back for the second session and she was really excited. She seemed like a different person. She had more energy. She was standing up straight. She kind of had like a, a smile on her face. Um, she said she was surprised because she had gone to the grocery store, but it wasn't until she got home that she realized she didn't even go down the cookie aisle. So it wasn't willpower. It wasn't that she saw the cookie aisle and decided, oh, no, I'm not going to go down it. No, she just didn't even notice it. She didn't think about it at all. She didn't notice the cookie aisle. It wasn't until she was unloading her groceries she knew she hadn't even been tempted. It was as if she didn't even see the cookies or think about them anymore. And in that moment, she knew something had changed because she always was tempted by those cookies. So in the first week we did together, we, we were reprogramming her thinking and we made a very important change for Michelle and the cookies just weren't that appealing to her anymore. So she, you know, without even realizing it, she just skipped them over. So isn't that amazing? That's the type of change I see all the time in the hypnosis office with reprogram your way. So let me ask you, do you think it would be easier for you if the compelling foods that tend to get you into trouble just weren't as appealing anymore? And that's the power of reprogram your way. That's the power of reprogramming your mind and making some of these changes. And remember, when it's easy, it's sustainable, and then it becomes habitual and permanent. All right, so the next video, uh, part two, is how you can lose weight while eating. The reprogram your weight process does not, as I said before, it doesn't improve, include any deprivation or starving yourself. So imagine not thinking about food all the time because you're not hungry all the time. Sound good? But if you know what's right for you right now and you're ready to get started, the next step is to get on a call with me and we'll figure out if reprogram your weight is right for you. It's not a right fit for every person I talk to. So you can press the button on this webpage video or go to reprogramyourweight.com to, uh, to get that initial consult scheduled.